Hey folks, Camelot here with some more good news this time, with a caveat, make sure you're paying attention. But there's been another update to the striped bass regulations in Maryland. Here it is. The emergency regulations that Maryland put into place that eliminated the trophy striped bass season have again been applied in 2024. But let's be clear about something. What this does, this is another institution of the emergency declaration. This particular mechanism is only good for 180 days. The consideration of the elimination of the trophy striped bass season is still up for debate, still under consideration as a permanent measure. Under this type of regulatory enactment, it can only extend for a maximum of 180 days. So keep an eye out for further announcements. Make sure you're following organizations like CCA Maryland, Fish Talk Magazine, channels like this, so that when these different overall and permanent policy recommendations come up for public input, you'll be aware and can weigh in. So what actually happened? Targeting of striped bass from April 1st through May 15th will be illegal. And on the Susquehanna Flats, it's all the way through the end of May, with the idea being we're protecting those big spawning fish up there, which is crucial. Why is that so important? Because those big breeders produce orders of magnitude more eggs, along with passing on the genetic material that striped bass need to grow large, to grow massive, and keep perpetuating the species. Protecting those big breeders is absolutely crucial. They should not be harvested, especially not with how the striped bass stock is right now. The last note I'll make here is that they're also looking at extending another period of closure during the hottest part of the year, because if you don't know or you're not aware of this, striped bass recover best and their mortality rate is lowest when they're caught in cool waters. I think it's 61 degrees or cooler. In the height of summer, when that water gets up above 80, 85 degrees in the bay, the mortality rate goes through the roof because striped bass just do not do well in water that warm. And to close out this short video right here, what do you do if the striped bass aren't available to chase? Chase other stuff, man. Go after the blue cats, go after the snakeheads, go after some of the other species out there who are not under that kind of pressure, who are not suffering poor recruitment numbers like our striped bass are. But again, great news. Thank you, Maryland DNR and Maryland General Assembly for extending these emergency regulations. And again, for more details on the changes that were made by the Atlantic State Marines Fisheries Commission, you can watch my old striper video from about a week or two ago. These changes are long overdue, but I'm still grateful that they're here. Hopefully it's enough to avoid a moratorium. Time will tell. All right, folks, stay up to date. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.